Hey, Jenny, did you know that the humans share a common ancestor with chimps? Wow, no, I didn't know. How'd you know that? Well, let me tell you about it. Scientists discovered that chimps and humans both inherited DNA from a common ancestor. Wait, what's DNA? DNA is the instruction manual of our body. It tells our body what to do and how to function all the time. It even tells you what to look like. This is why you look similar to your parents. You inherit half of your DNA from your dad and half from your mom. But how does DNA work? Well, we should talk about amino acids first. Amino acids are tiny chemicals in our body and are referred to as the building blocks of life. There are about 20 different types of amino acids and they can all attach each other, sort of like Legos, to make something called a protein. DNA makes amino acids, amino acids make proteins, proteins make cells, cells make tissues, and tissues make organs. All of these combine to form living organisms like you and me. If all of this is true, then why are we so different from chimps? Well, we have a lot of similarities with chimps. More than 97% of our DNA is shared with them, but we have a lot of differences also. One of the many differences is speech. We have the ability to talk with our friends, but chimps don't. Specifically, chimps don't have the ability to form speech, but they can develop language. There was a chimp named Washu who was the first chimp to learn to communicate using American Sign Language. Well, if they're so similar to us, why can't they talk? We discovered that there is a gene called FOXP2. A gene is a thing in a cell that can determine what traits are passed down from the parents. We talked about this earlier, remember? Yep. We found that lots of animals have a FOXP2 gene, including humans. The difference between FOXP2 and chimps and humans, though, is a change in only two amino acids. There are 715 amino acids in this gene, and only two were changed. This is an example of a mutation. What's a mutation? A mutation is a mistake or a change in a living organism's DNA. Mutations can cause big differences in genes that are expressed. This means that these mutations changed humans and our ability to speak. Mutations are important for evolution because they increase the amount of different individuals and species in the world. Wow, that's so crazy. But if only two amino acids were changed, why is there still such a difference? Good question. A scientist by the name of Dr. Varga Kadim studied a group of family members called the K.E. family and saw that they had a condition in which they couldn't speak clearly because they couldn't form words to talk. She discovered that when FOXP2 was inactivated, there was an impairment of speech development. This showed that FOXP2 was key to human speech abilities, but there are other factors that affect our ability to develop language. That's very interesting. Tell me more differences between humans and chimps and how we became so different. Humans have a decrease in bone mass of the skull and increase in brain size. Our brains weigh an average of three pounds, which is pretty insane for our body size. Chimps have brains that are about a third of the size of ours, but have about the same body size as us. So what effects does a bigger brain have? The bigger the size of our brain reflects the advancements of our ability to think and plan. Our frontal lobe is where the most increase in size is found. This area of the brain is what controls parts of speech and movement, reasoning, planning, emotions, and problem-solving abilities. That's so neat. It's really cool to learn that even though humans and chimps inherited genes from the same common ancestor, that we have so many differences, like FOXB2, which helped us evolve into different species.